What is intelligence? So intelligence is the ability to think about abstract ideas, abstract meaning outside of what's in front of you. It's what sets us apart from other species, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're book smart, academic smart. Uh, so intelligence has a couple of different things. Um, it's not achievement. Uh, you can, anybody almost can memorize and repeat back information. Intelligence is the ability to have higher level thinking. Um, so how are they, we've talked about all of this stuff, how are they looked at? Achievement is something that's uh, gained, whereas intelligence is thinking um, outside of yourself, which allows for achievement to be uh, possible. Now, an achievement would be just rote memory, what is the answer? Whereas intelligence um, would be which one comes next. So thinking beyond what's right in front of you. Why are there different theories? Well, because people can't agree on what should be included in the debate um, and what should be included in the, if the factors of what intelligence means. Uh, so we've got Spearman's two-factor, Thurston, which is multiple intelligence, and then Sternbo uh, Sternberg's triarchaic theory and Goldman's emotional intelligence. You can believe in one, you can believe in a couple. Uh, it's totally a individualistic approach, which is kind of where the problem is. All right, so Spearman is talking about general intelligence versus specific intelligence, okay? So general intelligence is a combination of all of these specifics, mechanical, spatial, numerical, verbal, um, which are just fancy ways of um, figuring things out, what's around you, pictures, math, um, and verbal spoken. And you have a, around that is what you have to look, like, look at. Multiple intelligence, um, it's Thurston was the first one, Gardner is next. It's, uh, it comes from a lot of different places. It's not just one area. Um, so if you're looking at multiple intelligence, you can have your visual, which is artistic-ish. Um, you've got your existential, philosopher thinking about thinking, interpersonal, um, which is social skills, intra, which is more individualistic, bodily or kinesthetic, which is more um, movement, uh, musical, that's musical, uh, verbal, lingu linguistic, uh, apparently that's what I am, uh, that's spoken stuff, logical, mathematical, uh, numbers are your big thing, and then naturalistics. Um, but if you look at these, they can go uh, together, similar to the visual, and the musician, musical, those might go together. Um, you can have your existential because that's a philosopher, might go with logical, um, naturalist and body kinesthetic, those might move together. Interpersonal teachers, those go as well. Um, so it doesn't have to be just one. Um, so James Gardner pushes this into a different area. Um, and he's actually going to be the one that puts it together and puts it on a wheel to see where you uh, might fall. Um, and he puts different words with it. Sternberg is, he looks at three different things. Um, analytical, academic, book smart. Creative, um, that's your creative brain. Artistic, um, thinking big picture and then practical, which is street smarts, okay? So again, you could be multiple, um, and this is where the, the fight comes through. Goldman looks at emotional intelligence, okay? And this is the ability to handle stressors. Um, and if you don't have those, the, the ability to handle those stressors, you might not be as 
successful um, because maybe you just can't handle it that way. So perceiving awareness and understanding. So if you can empath empathy, the bit, well, these kind of go together. So this is inter, inter stuff. This is your self-awareness. How do you perceive things? This is your empathy. And then how do you go um, forward with it? Um, and then you're gonna have the, the EQ, which is the emotional quotient. Um, but again, this one's really quick, really easy. Which one do you believe in? Are you multiple? Are you one?